it's the same training no matter where you're at. Every time I've done the training, I just next, next, you know, watch it. You never think it's going to happen to you. I do look out for, you know, someone walks in and goes straight for the iPhones, doesn't say anything. You know, they, they don't want to be bothered. The gentleman who eventually robbed us was attempting to buy a phone. In my experience, normally if they're going to do something like that, they're not giving us their ID. They're not spending more than a couple minutes in the store. I mean, he, he was there for a good hour. Eventually that got me to go, well, this guy's fine. It was within, it felt like a minute of me turning my back and sitting down to have a coaching conversation. Walks around, give me the money and has a gun in his hand. It's just like, this is not good. Give me your money and, and I immediately just, all right, don't move. Just do what he says, you know, put my hands up, you know, show I'm not gonna try to do anything. Open the drawer, you know, open the registers. So, you know, they open the registers and I guess he paused and it let the other rep on the other side of the store hit the panic button. Walked over, took the other cash, said, get on the ground or I'm going to shoot you. It felt like it lasted a long time, but it, it didn't. It was over like that. And next thing I know, he said, don't get up or I'll, I'll shoot you. And I heard the door open and popped up and went to lock the door. Like immediately locked the door. I had one of the, you know, the employees that said, call the police. All those times here after a robbery, you know, do what they say, give them what they want, don't move fast. Once they leave, lock the door, call the police. Like it was just, my brain immediately went to, all right, follow the steps that I was told to do. He didn't give us any of the signs that we're told to look for. So he put us at ease. And I guess you should never be at ease because you never know when or who is going to do that. We were always looking at him, didn't do anything. It wasn't until I turned my back that he did it. And if one of us was standing even in his vicinity, he wouldn't have gotten that out because we would have been standing right there. They want that time and, and space to get themselves ready for what they're gonna do. If you take that away and just make them a little uncomfortable, they're not going to. That's my biggest regret is turning my back. Had I not turned my back, I really don't think he would have done that. Just because someone isn't showing you the signs, give them that great customer experience because they won't feel that they have an opportunity to do you wrong. You, you can't just say, well, this person's, they're cool. You know, they're not going to do, you have to pay attention. You can't take anything for granted.